The tennis world has been in a state of chaos these past couple of months, and honestly, good news has been pretty scarce. First, we had our queen Serena give up on us as she evolved into a new phase of her life. Then it was Rafa facing injuries left, right, and center. And now the GOAT, Roger Federer, has hung up his boot. Today, let's talk about Roger's sad announcement after his farewell, starting with all of it being too soon for him. All of us collectively went through the worst time of our lives when Roger retired. We were all sobbing, and it was not just the fans, but his frenemy. Rafa and his very own wife, Mirka, were also red, with tears streaming down their faces. But it looks like the man is far from being done, as he just said something else publicly that had the tennis world in tears again. This day, this match was inevitable for Roger Federer and for tennis, just as they all are for athletes everywhere. After a brilliant career that featured 20 Grand Slam victories and a position as a statesman for tennis, Federer was saying goodbye with one more match before he goes into retirement at age 41. In the Laver Cup, he was supposed to team up with his adversary Rafael Nadal to take on Francis Tifo and Jack Sock of Team World in a double match. Next, what Roger said. Federer stated last week in an interview with the Associated Press, for me, just personally, it was sad in the initial moment when I came to the conclusion that's the right option. Before the singles match of the three-day team tournament at the O2 Arena, Federer was the last player to emerge from a tunnel leading out to the black court, sporting his team's blue zip-up jacket and black slacks. Fans who were loud enough for Nadal, Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray, and others made sure Federer heard their support and thanks, rising for a long-standing ovation and raising their phone cameras to film the event. Federer went to the stands during the intermission of the matches before his autograph programs, tennis balls, and anything else fans shoved in his direction. How graceful is this guy? After losing the first singles match on Friday afternoon against two-time 2022 Grand Slam runner-up Casper Ruud, 6-4, 5-7, 10-7, Sox said the atmosphere was amazing. Moving on, we all kind of saw it coming. This day, this match was inevitable for Roger Federer and for tennis, just as they are for all athletes everywhere. After a brilliant career that featured 20 Grand Slam victories and a position as a statesman for tennis, Federer was saying goodbye with one more match before he goes into retirement at age 41. In the Laver Cup, he was supposed to team up with his adversary Rafael Nadal to take on Francis Tifo and Jack Sock of Team world in a doubles match. To be honest, while we were super sad at the thought of our favorite finally bidding adieu, it's not that we didn't see it coming. Both he and Serena had a serious decline performance-wise, and so many people were kind of expecting this day to arrive. Following up, the tennis universe was devastated. Since this was such a significant event for Federer, his absence was met with widespread disappointment across the tennis community. Federer, though, promised future appearances before home fans. Federer's last farewell to the tennis world was a fitting homage filled with unforgettable moments for the sport's devoted followers. Images of Federer and Nadal holding one another and crying during the joyful homage sent shockwaves across the tennis community. Later, Mirka joined Federer on the court and the two had a touching hug. Now, wasn't that super adorable? While the cameras were focused on Federer, the moment Mirka rushed to comfort a teary-eyed Nadal during the celebration was captured by the audience. To be honest, Mirka's empathy for what Rafa was going through was much more wholesome. After all, the man has been her husband's rival for a few decades. Federer got choked up during his post-match interview as he thanked Burka for supporting him throughout his tennis career. Moving on, have you ever wondered what age do these tennis players retire? Now, considering how abruptly Serena and Federer said goodbye, it's very understandable if you and other tennis fans want to know the average age so that you can be prepared to say goodbye to your favorites. Like, okay, you might never be prepared enough to see your favorites leave, but let's say be a little mentally prepared. Anyway, so we did some research and brought you all the deets on when you can expect a professional tennis player to bid adieu to the game. Let's talk about what ASUSA said. Statistics from ASUSA show that former professional tennis players often retire at the young age of 27. Despite this, athletes are staying in the game long into their 40s. The Australian Broadcasting Corporation, ABC, describes this as a recent development. The magazine uses the careers of tennis stars Pat Rafter and Boris Becker as examples, both of whom had all 
already retired by the age of 30. ESPN said in 2012 that age 30 was no longer considered the mandatory retirement age for professional tennis players. Jim Courier, one of the participants, speculated that this was because the game had become too much harder to meet. He said because of that, it's tougher for younger players to break through. Retiring is becoming more of a financial decision, according to ESPN. However, ASUSA emphasizes that tennis players of any age may retire for a variety of reasons. For Williams, it was very personal, via Vogue. Broken bones are another common reason. Australian tennis star Pat Cash made the following statement, if you're just 14 or 15 and you're already hitting a hard court, you're doing your joints no favors. Per ABC, modern advancements in footwear, tennis court surfaces, medicine, and other fields have helped reduce the frequency of physical injuries. Up next, here's when you can expect your faves to peak. How close a player is to their peak performance level is one consideration in determining whether they will continue playing. If a player reaches his or her prime at age 29, that person will not be contemplating retirement at age 30. Male athletes reach their prime between the ages of 23 and 24, whereas female athletes reach their prime between the ages of 20 and 21. Ken Andreescu undoubtedly affected the latter group and Jvantec's recent showings. If the former is correct, it isn't good news for young players like Sasha Zverev, since the vast majority of Grand Slam tournaments have been won by players over the age of 30 in recent years. Finally, there's really no hard and fast rule. Even though the average retirement age is increasing, the USA reports that certain tennis players are leaving the sport at significantly younger ages, like Ash Barty, for instance. According to Sports Illustrated, Barty has won the Australian Open and Wimbledon, making her a three-time Grand Slam champion. Barty, at the height of her career at 25, announced her retirement in March 2022. I mentioned it to my team several times. I don't have it in me. I don't have the physical drive, the emotional desire, and sort of everything it takes to push yourself at the very top of the level anymore, she remarked. Her coach, Craig Tizer, reportedly was not taken aback by her choice, as reported by ESPN. The man spoke up and stated, I think it's the right time. She won the Aussie Open for everyone, not just for her. I think that was for everyone else. I don't think there's anything left in the tank for her. According to Reuters reporting, Barney isn't the first professional tennis player to call it quits in her 20s. According to the article, Tracy Austin left her career at age 21 after a vehicle accident left her with a broken leg and forced her to resign. In addition, Kim Kleisters left the sport in 2007 at the young age of 23. She returned to the spotlight in 2020 at 36 and again in 2022. So, you know, we can't really say for sure if your favorites will play the long game like Roger and Serena or if they will dip out earlier. That's a wrap for this video. So tell us, did you too feel a tear streaming down at Federer's recent announcement? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.